This is the Intex Xeon Platinum 8490H CPU engineering sample. It costs about $20,000 if you buy an original or re one. And I bought one on eBay from China for about $500. And now I will assemble my new machine. And I'm curious if it will work, if it will be fast. Um, in the end, I will do some benchmarks. So the socket is a little bit different. It's more difficult to install. They have like four different, uh, sorry, three different kinds of holders. And I have the maximum core count. So I have to use the E1 a and I turn this around here is a little arrow and also here is uh, some little arrow here and um, here so I turn this around put the CPU inside yeah, so this has to be on the left and now on the right. I'll put it inside. Mm, it's a little bit tricky. Maybe I do it here. And now it's inside. You um, have to be careful, let have a turn around and it should not fall down on the mainboard socket. That's very important. Now, I think the socket, you usually um, attach this on the cooler and then attach it on the mainboard. So, we take the cooler. Here's already thermal paste on it. Uh, in the end, I want that this cooler blows in this direction. Uh, so I want this like that. Now I have to look in which direction I have to install the CPU on the main board. Mm, there also should be some little arrow. I already can take this away. Uh, I have to look where is the right corner. Here, this arrow shows in that direction. Want to get sure? Can okay. use a little bit of light. Mm. Yeah, this direction is right. So now we take it. So, and here the error shows in this direction, so I have to attach it like, like that. Okay. So this one, I will attach it here like this. Click, click. Perfect. And now I take it and carefully, nothing will drop or fall down. Totally screwed if it will fall down. Yes, carefully put it on 
the main board. Now there is a tool from Noctua, this one. Now we carefully uh, will tighten the screws. We um, do it always like not totally tight and always the opposite screws like a star uh, formation. Okay, let's um, put the memory inside. I have to look now which um, memory I should, which, which channels I should use. There is a specific order because I want one DIMM per channel. I found the memory, the processor and memory module matrix table. And here we see in which configuration we want to attach the memory slots. So I have eight, so this is the configuration I need. So we start with HO, which is this one. This is DDR5 4800 registered memory, 64 gigabytes. And I have eight of those, so 512 gigabytes of memory. I'm really excited about this computer. This is the biggest and expensive computer I ever bought. And I will be do... I think I will be able to do incredible things on this computer. Um, and now in the age of AI, maybe this computer will be the first computer of my computers, which one day can... Um, maybe not can cannot execute AGI, but maybe can execute something which be very close to AGI. So, or maybe it, it's smarter if I start inside and then move outside. So EO is the first one, which is this blue one. Uh, put it here inside. Yeah. Wonderful. The next one is FO. Every channel supports two DIMMs. Because I just use one DIMM per channel, I will be able to use 4800 um, MHz. Okay. CO. and then I'm done. Now I will put my SSD inside. The Samsung 990 Pro with two terabytes. There were some SSD coolers which are part of 
of the main board, which is great, because they already look very gaming to me. Um, I would love if some of main boards would um, look more like gaming devices. Um, would be great if this would have RGB, but yeah. Um, it doesn't have it. So how to use this one? Ah, maybe, okay, I have to detach this again. Remove this one. Attach this here inside. Oh, nice. Then I can put the screw inside again. Yeah, this is amazing. This is totally amazing. Great main board. Um, yeah, please, I back companies like Gigabyte and Supermicro that their main boards would look more beautiful. Like, please make it in black on white. Please attach things like RGB. Um, this would be great. Also, like, um, please attach some uh, optical audio. And um, I think more people will buy some server mainboards like me. Like, this was about 1,100 euro. And at that, that price, you also can attach some optical audio for, I don't know, 10 cent. And one RGB header. Okay, now is a moment of truth. I will be soon able to connect my power supply and try to start it. And then put here the GPU inside. Great. That's a hundred percent into system. Now I will attach the power supply. so much dust. That's a P8 cable, perfect. Already one. I found more cables, one P8 cable. Is happening. I have lights. This is great. This is wonderful. Number 11. And it's working. And it's not quite like other systems, but it's more quiet than expected. Ooh, I get some. Looks like Windows didn't load correctly. Would you like to start and try again? Restart my PC below. That's great. Wow, I'm, I'm so happy. Now I have to show you my... I'm sorry that my room is so dirty. I'm so sorry. But I have to show you the screen. Um, moment. Here, I get the screen, which is amazing. I'm so happy. I was so afraid that I don't get the screen. 
Ah, beautiful. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I have an idea. Soon I have to like restart, click the restart my PC button, but I will do something else before. I will now turn off the power. I bought some trusted platform module and I will attach it and after that I will restart my PC. Because I'm 100% sure Windows 11 with WSL needs this TPM. If not, nothing will work. Okay, so how can I, if I press here, will it shut down? No. Okay, sorry Windows. I was able to install Windows 10, which doesn't need a TPM. I installed Cinebench and now I will run it and I'm curious which number we will get. We will run the uh, CPU multicore benchmark and I just want to um, do one run. Let's go. Wow, that was fast. We get a score of 52,981, which is um, really fast. It's like 20,000 points more than this Threadripper, which is really expensive. For 500 euro, this is, I think, the best number you can achieve. It's, it's amazing. It's really, really great. With the uh, right BIOS settings uh, about power and performance mode, and with some settings that we get more NUMA nodes for Windows, um, we get even a higher score. Now it's about, okay, it was just 60,000, now it's 58,000, but it seems like 60,000 is the maximum we can get.